guys, it's Rick Nockfee here, and I'm here to talk about the brand new Personas Studio Live 32SX digital console. So before we get into that, I wanted to give you a little bit about what the vision of Studio Live is about. We wanted to create a digital console that had high enough fidelity, you know, great Class A mic preamps that have high voltage rails, as well as great A to D converters, so it would stand up in any recording studio, but then also with ease and flexibility and fast workflow for a live application, so when you need to get to something, you can get to it. And so that's where Studio Live came from. Uh, in addition to that, you know, we have a whole bunch of software that we're going to talk about that comes free with the console. But first of all, let's take a look at the back panel. Looking at the back panel of the Studio Live 32SX, you'll see that it's fully featured, tons of I.O. So it actually is a true 32 channel console with 32 mic preamps. The first 16 mic preamps are straight preamps and then 17 through 32 give you a combo connector with a line input. And the cool thing about that is that in the studio, if you want to use any outboard mic preamps or processors, you can go straight into that line input and bypass the mic preamp and go straight to the A to D converter. As far as outputs are concerned, you've got 12 XLR balanced outputs, then outputs 13, 14, 15, 16 are on balanced TRS connectors. You've got four dedicated subgroup outputs, and then of course your main left and right, uh, talkback input, mono sum, and then of course tape in and aux inputs on the back. Lastly, you have a digital AES stereo output, an audio network output. This will allow you to connect to any AVB peripheral devices like stage boxes or rack mixers. You also have an Ethernet control port and that will allow you to connect your router for wireless control. And then of course a USB output that will allow you to record up to 64 channels of USB. So as you can see from the back panel you have tons of I.O. But let's take a look at kind of how the workflow is on the console. First thing you'll notice is that Although it is a true 32 channel console, it is a smaller frame size, so you have 25 touch sensitive moving faders. And then the way that the layers are uh, done on here, basically channels 1 through 24 come up on the first layer. You can page over next to get to channels 25 through 32. Then you have all your effects returns, your aux inputs, tape in on that second layer. One of the coolest things also is the new kind of fat channel workflow. So the fat channel basically is this section of the console that gives you all of your main parameters for EQ, compression, mic preamp, panning, all in one spot. So if I select any channel, basically immediately I have access to that channel's mic pre-gain. I've got panning for that channel on that second knob. I've got gate threshold, compression threshold. And then you've got a high pass filter that's totally variable for that channel and then a four band fully parametric EQ. So you've got gain, frequency, and bandwidth, and then here's these four buttons below flip through the different bands, low, low mid, high mid, and high. In addition to the standard EQ and compressor that come with all Studio Live consoles, one of the great things that we've done with the new S series, and this applies to all of the Studio Live S series consoles, is we've included a $500 pack of modeled plugins that run on the console and also with the recording software Studio One. So these are state space model plugins and basically what we've done is we've modeled you know old analog compressors and EQs and now these models are available to you so let's check some of those out. So if I hit the compressor button for example you'll notice here here's the standard compressor but we also have different modeled compressors. So, you know, whether you want a tube or maybe a FET or a British style, and we have just different ones for different applications. And not only compressors, but we have state space modeled EQ. So you've got the standard four band parametric. Then you also can have, let's say, you know, a passive tube style. Uh, maybe we want, you know, a totally different application. So there's just tons of different uh, EQs and compressors available. Now the cool thing is is that you don't just get this on every input, you also get it on every output. So you know if I want to let's say create a drum bus and EQ and compress my drums individually but then send them to a drum bus and then have that drum bus with an overall EQ and compression curve, you can do that. So these are available on every input and every output and also the master output. But that's actually not all. So in addition, 
to these plugins running on your console. They also run in the bundled software Studio One Artist. So if you take a look at Studio One Artist, all of these plugins show up as native plugins as well. So as you can see, it's very, very powerful DSP. And like I said, on every input and every output, it's a total of 286 channels of processing that are available simultaneously on the Studio Live 32SX. So let's take a look at the top of the console. Let me show you a little bit more about the workflow. One of the coolest features on all of the Series 3 consoles is this fat channel AB button. So let's say, for example, you know, you have a guitar player that's going to change from a Strat to a Les Paul in the middle of a gig, and it's a totally different EQ and compression needed for that. Well, watch this. I can set up one channel for one guitar, for example, and then if I hit this fat channel AB button, I can completely change the parameters. Let's say this next guitar needs a little bit more high mid. And then just during the show, instead of having to load in a new preset or anything like that, I can just toggle between these two settings. And it's the full channel strip that gets flipped. So basically, with a 32 channel console, you can basically have two fat channel settings stored on the console at all times. Okay, so we went through the fat channel, so now let's talk about how you can get to your different outputs. Uh, of course, main fader here is your master output, and when I'm on the main mix, that's my main mix fader. But right here on the side, you have your 16 flex mix kind of quick buttons. So when I hit flex mix one, it'll switch, and now it's configured currently to an aux send. But the cool thing about these flex mixes is you can make them an aux send, a subgroup, or a matrix, depending on what you want them to be. So you're not fixed to a certain number of auxes or a certain number of subgroups. You could have 16 auxes, or you could have eight auxes and eight subgroups, or you know any combination of auxes, subgroups, or matrix. On the right side of the console, you'll notice a couple of things. Uh, well, you have these three buttons here, and that allows you to turn these eight faders into looking, instead of looking at channels 17 through 24, with one button I can look at my aux inputs, I can look at my DCA groups, or my mix masters, and then if I want to go back to looking at channel 17 through 24, you can just hit this button one more time, and there you go. Now DCAs are really cool on all of the Studio Live Series 3 S consoles, and I'll show you how they work. Uh, basically, a DCA group allows you to control a bunch of faders with just one fader. So let's hit the DCA groups button right here, and as you can see, here's my first eight DCA masters. They show up right here. And the cool thing about the Studio Live S series is that we have more DCAs than any other digital console in its price range. So most other consoles will give you eight DCAs, maybe 12. We give you 24 DCAs. So let's create a DCA. Okay, all I have to do is on DCA1, I hold down the select button. It'll blink saying, what channels do you want in that DCA? Okay, I want channels 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I let go, and now all of a sudden, I have these set up as DCAs. And now with one fader, I can control all of those faders, just like this. So as you can see, DCAs are a really great way to take a bunch of faders, and instead of having to mix and page around, you can put things basically on DCAs and control them with fewer faders. So there's another really great workflow that's available on all Series 3 mixers that makes it super easy to configure what you want to see called the user layer. So the user layer basically allows you to arrange any input, any output, any effects return, any DCA in any order. So watch this. All I have to do is hit the user button and as you can see here, there's a couple of things that have already been assigned. I've got a DCA group that's been assigned here. I've got channel 32 here. I've got two effects returns here. Let's say I want to make fader 5 channel 13. I just hold down the select button, and I find channel 13 right here. Hit channel 13. Now this is channel 13. Maybe I want the next fader to be uh, channel 30. Maybe I want the next fader to be uh, effects return D. Maybe I want the next fader to be a DCA, maybe DCA2. And then when I get it configured on exactly what I want to see, I just hit Done. And now, 
as you can see, I can mix the show with just a few faders, just the main things that I need. But at any time, if you need to go back to the main layer for any reason, just hit the inputs button and wabam, you're back to channels 1 through 24, and you can page over to the next layer to get to channels 25 through 32 and all of your effects returns. Another great feature on the 32SX are these eight user function buttons that are on the right hand side of the master fader. What they allow you to do is basically assign quick functions straight to these buttons of pretty much whatever you want to do. For example, if you want one of these buttons to be tap tempo for your digital delay, or if you want one of these to be previous and next scene so you can just flip through your scenes. They also kind of default as mute groups. So what's a mute group? A mute group is the ability with one button to mute a bunch of channels. So let me show you how easy it is to create a mute group. Let's say if I want this first button to be a mute group for, let's say, just I want to mute all my drums with one button. So I just hold down this button. It'll blink saying, what channels do you want to be in the mute groups? I want the first, let's say, eight channels, which are my drums. Okay. So now, anytime I want to just mute just the drums, I can just hit this button and mute just the drums. And you can assign up to eight of these different mute groups, or like I said, any combination of mute groups, tap tempo, scene recall, forward scene, back scene, really cool. So let's talk about recording with the 32SX. So like all Studio Live mixers in the family, recording is not an afterthought at Personas. We give you three different ways that you can record your show. So the first way is through USB. You can record up to 64 channels of audio straight to your Mac or PC. Uh, now, where do you get 64 channels? Well, of course, channels 1 through 32 can be recorded, but let's say you wanted to also record, you know, your aux sends or maybe your talkback mic or any of the output streams that are available on the network can be recorded up to a total of 64 channels. The second way to record is using the SD card. So basically you can pop in an SD card without a computer and you can record up to 34 channels of audio. So your 32 channels plus stereo left and right can be recorded straight to that SD card. The SD card will give you approximately about 90 minutes of recording for a 32 gigabyte SD card. So it's perfect to record a show. And then of course you can also decide what channels you want to record. So if you don't want to record all 32, maybe you're only recording 16, you'll actually get more recording time on the SD card. And lastly, the third way to record is using the AVB network output. So you can connect it to one of the latest Macs. All of the latest Macs will allow straight Ethernet connection and you can record up to 64 channels using Ethernet as well. So let's talk about software that comes in the box. Presonus gives you more software to not only record your show but also to wirelessly control your mixer than any other digital console on the planet. So the first piece of software that you get free with the purchase is Studio One Artist DAW software for Mac and PC. The second piece of software that you get free in the box is Capture recording software. So Capture really is the easiest and fastest way to record your live show. So just with the, the hit of a button, basically, I can record all of my channels straight to Capture. So the other great thing about Capture is the fact that after the show's finished, I can not only save the files like you can with any recording software, but I can actually save the mixer scene straight to the Capture file. And then when I get home and I open it up into Studio One, all of my fat channel settings that you saw running live on the console show up as a native plugin for Studio One. Isn't that cool? And when you open up Studio One, not only do you get all of your files, but all of your plugins that you're running live show up as a native plugin in Studio One. So this is really a great way to do a live recording so quick and have something that sounds great in just seconds. And then of course, because now these are native plugins, you know, you can tweak them because obviously, you know, you were using these for live. Maybe it's a little bit different for the recording. You can replace them. You can do anything you want. It's totally flexible. The next software that's included with all Series 3 mixers is our control software that allows you to wirelessly control the console from your phone or a tablet. So the first piece of software that we're going to talk about is UC Surface. UC Surface runs on an iPad or Android and essentially this allows me to 
control the mixer wirelessly walking around the room. This is great for sound checks. This is great for ringing out monitors on stage. And then my musicians can use QMix to control their own monitor mix. So essentially each musician has full control of their monitor mix and you can also set up permissions with the console so you can basically say that the bass player doesn't have access to anybody else's monitor mix except for his. The singer has access to only his and so it keeps everybody happy. Another amazing feature of the Series 3 consoles is their ability to not just be a mixer but also a control surface for your favorite software. So of course, Studio One is perfectly integrated and I'm gonna show you that. But if you're not using Studio One, we also have integration for Logic and Pro Tools using MCU or Huey. So here's how it works. If I'm mixing the show or I'm using it as a mixer, it's just kind of in standard mixer mode. But as soon as I hit the DAW button, now all of a sudden, the faders are controlling the faders in Studio One. This transport control controls the transport in, in Studio One as well. Uh, I have the ability, to on any given channel, pop open and look at parameters of different plugins that I have here. I also have the ability here, when I hit this button, to show a nice transport. I can turn click track on and off. Um, you have your bars and beats and seconds right here that you can look at and have a nice visual representation of what's happening in the song. Another great feature of DAW mode is the ability to write automation. Now, of course you saw that these are moving faders and all digital consoles in this price range have moving faders, but these are touch sensitive moving faders. Not all digital mixers have touch sensitive. Why is touch sensitivity important? It's for writing automation. So as an example, if I select a particular channel in Studio One, I can change the automation modes here. And let's say I want to write some automation, I'll put it in touch mode. So now I can hit play. And as soon as I touch the fader, you'll see it starts writing automation. And then as soon as I let go of the fader, it stops writing automation. And lastly, the Studio Live mixer doesn't just stop with the mixer itself. We have a complete ecosystem of products that can hook up directly to the 32SX or any Series 3 console to kind of take you to the next step and expand your functionality. For example, we make the NSB stage boxes those can be connected to the console with just a straight Ethernet cable, giving you a digital snake solution. They come in either a 16 or an 8 channel configuration. Additionally, we make three different rack mixers that are available in the Series 3 family. Now these will work standalone as a mixer with just an iPad or an Android tablet, but they can also be connected to a console mixer like the 32SX, and that will give you either an extra stage box, or you can even use those mixers as monitor mixers. Next in the family, we have the EarMix personal monitoring system. So these are great boxes to give your musicians on stage control over their own mix, and it gives you 16 channels of audio that you can control. The cool thing is, is that these don't rob your auxes, so these actually become extra aux ends when you add them to the ecosystem. And lastly, we have the SW5E AVB switch. In a more complicated system where you have more things on the network, this allows routing to be a lot easier, but also these provide power over Ethernet for any ear mix units that you have on stage. So that's it, the 32SX Studio Live Series 3 console from Presonus. To me, it is probably the most powerful 32 channel mixer in its size. Very compact, full I.O. on the back, tons of great software in the box, if you have questions about the 32SX or any other Personas product, call your Sweetwater sales engineer today. Thanks a lot.